graphing an exponential function and its asymptote, f of x equals b to the x. In order to make sense of what's going on here, let's first look at a specific example. So instead of the general exponential function, let's look at y equals 3 raised to the x power. Now, we're accustomed to graphing functions by plotting points, so that's always a fairly straightforward choice of a place to go. If I plug in that x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, or positive 2, I can evaluate this function at each of those points. 3 raised to the negative second power is 1 ninth. 3 raised to the negative first power is 1 third. Anything raised to the zero power is 1. Anything raised to the first power is that thing. And 3 squared is positive 9. Now, one thing that you need to know about exponential functions is that every exponential function has a horizontal asymptote. Sorry about that. In this case, the idea is that b raised to the x power is, sorry, not greater than or equal to, strictly greater than 0 if b is greater than 0. If you take any positive number and multiply it times any other positive number, your result is going to be a positive number. If you take any kind of power or root on a positive number, your result is going to be a positive number. So 3 to the x is going to be greater than 0 everywhere on its graph. Because of that, this graph is going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Any expression in the form y equals b to the x will have a horizontal asymptote. If you have more going on, and there's another topic that introduces a little bit more going on, then the horizontal asymptote can change. It can shift just like any other transformation of graph. But we're going to have these five points. We're going to have this asymptote. If we plot those things, we will have the graph of our function. I could plot those by hand, but I'm going to jump over into Alex and graph it using the computer software. First of all, because the curve that Alex can draw is much better than any curve that I can draw. And second of all, because it's worthwhile to take a look at how the Alex graphing software actually works. So here I am in Alex, looking at the same function we were just analyzing f of x equals 3 raised to the x power. I found five points, and I can plot them by hand if I want to, but especially since there's some fractional values going on, it's going to be a lot easier to use the plot points tool that Alex provides. Scroll down a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And we just click in here. And my first point had an x coordinate of negative 2 and a y coordinate of 1 ninth. And I'm just using the uh, slash key on my keyboard, 1 slash 9, to get 1 ninth. You can also use the uh, fraction bar button down here. And then when I hit plot point, it puts exactly that point on the graph. I can repeat that with, sorry, negative 1 one third, and with zero one, one three, and two nine. So there I have five points plotted on this curve. 
I also know that there will be a horizontal asymptote, and the dotted line here is for an asymptote, and I know that's going to be at zero, and have to be careful here because the asymptote will lock onto any integer value of y. It will also lock onto any of the points that you have plotted. So we have to be careful and make sure that we're plotting this thing at y equals zero, which is the x-axis, and not accidentally through one of the points. Once we have that, we can click the draw a function button, which will look at the points we have and draw a nice curve through that. check our work and Alex is happy to tell us that that is the correct solution to this problem. So now that I have this drawn, again, let me take a look at the graph here. The fact that the graph of an exponential function has this horizontal asymptote. And again, for the basic exponential function, b raised to the x power for any positive value b, the horizontal asymptote will be at y equals zero. If you have a negative value of b, the exponential function does really crazy things. You won't see any of those in this course. If you have a value for b that's smaller than one, instead of three, maybe we used one third, then you would have the graph moving in the other direction, but it would still be the same basic shape, just a mirror of what we have here. Moving on from this one, we'll take a look at some uh, more complicated exponential expressions, start looking at using the tools of transforming graphs uh, to make this more complicated, but the basic idea will stay about the same. 